Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I received a request to go over Make Anything's recent video on multi texture printing. If you haven't seen that video yet, Devin uh, released a video where he showed an approach using the fuzzy skin feature in slicers to create these really neat designs. Now I've played around with the fuzzy skin feature before, but only briefly, and this request along with Devin's recent video has inspired me to revisit it. So as requested, I'm going to show my approach to this design and I'm gonna share some tips along the way. One of the tips I think you'll find really valuable has to do with dealing with um, fillet errors. Um, you've probably been there before where you try to fillet a body and uh, Fusion keeps giving you an error that the value is not going to work. And sometimes you may try to address this by lowering the value until you get something to work. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to show you how to solve for these. This discussion came about because several of my students were trying to fillet a uh, heart-shaped body and were having a lot of trouble. Okay, let's dive in and I'll show you my approach to this really creative technique by Devin. If you haven't checked out his video yet, I've linked it below and I highly recommend it. I debated even doing a video on this because I didn't want to do a video on a design approach just to repeat something that was already made where I can just say, hey, go watch Devin's video. Um, but after taking my design approach on it, I, I think there's enough variation in design techniques here where uh, I feel there's um, there's something to add here versus just, just echoing a technique already done. Um, so, well, take a look at my design, I guess, and you be the judge. All right. All right, we'll begin by creating a sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to come in with a center diameter circle. So C for circle, well, I'll give it a diameter of 100 millimeters. Uh, finish sketch, I'll select that circle E for extrude and let's make it uh, 40 millimeters in height. All right, next I'm going to come in with an offset plane here to create a heart that I'm going to emboss onto here. You can create it on that center plane here, but I like to kind of push it out just visually. Um, it's just preference. So I'll go ahead and click on construct offset plane. I'll select that front plane to reference it. I'm going to push it out. As long as it's in front of the cylinder, I'm good. Create a sketch on that plane. And here I'm just going to project the surface here. And that way I get the top and bottom line and I can untoggle the body here. So now I'm going to start um, creating my heart. The approach I'm going to take on the heart here is I'm going to left click, go straight up to make a vertical line and then left click and hold and that'll transition to an arc and then I'm going to release and then click again and that's starting point and that gets me my heart. All right, let's uh, add some constraints here. I'm going to grab my tangent constraint and make this line here uh, tangent to the arc. If you're new to constraints or want to learn a little more about them, I have a constraints cheat sheet linked below that shows all the constraints and defines what they do. So it kind of helps you to get used to using your constraints because it will speed up your workflow significantly. All right, let's add some dimensions here. D for dimension, we'll make this arc five uh, millimeters in uh, radius and we'll make this line 12 millimeters. I'm gonna position this so that this point here is centered to the origin here. So I'll grab my horizontal slash vertical constraint, choose that uh, origin there and now it's there. I simply need to lock the height and for that, I'll dimension the origin from that bottom point and make that 11.5 millimeters. All right, that gets the heart centered here. Let's go ahead and make the other side of this. So I'll take this line here, make it a construction line, and then I'll grab my mirror tool. So I'll go to create and down to mirror, choose the two lines here that I want to mirror. And then for my mirror line, I'm going to choose this center line that goes ahead and will mirror the arc and the line. And I have a heart. Okay. Don't believe what you hear out there. I do have a heart. All right. Finish sketch. Let's go ahead and click bodies to reveal our body. And then we're going to go to create and boss, choose our heart. And then for our face, we're going to click select and choose the surface there of our cylinder. We have a heart. It defaults to two millimeter depth. I'm going to bring that down to one. Click OK. All right, next step here is when you emboss, it doesn't give you the option to create two separate bodies. You can see here it joins them into one. So we need to separate this. Um, the approach I'm going to take to separate this is I'm going to go to modify, choose split body, choose the body here as far as my splitting tool. I'm going to just select it and then click on the outer surface here and then click OK. 
And what that did is it took this surface, extended it to go ahead and split anything that's outside of it. So if you see here, if I untoggle the body, it just leaves me the heart. And you can see how the heart curves to follow that surface. All right, the next part I want to talk about is uh, an important concept that will eventually um, get you. If, you. if you're not sure how it works, it can be quite frustrating. So, um, and, and it has to do with filleting. So I'll just kind of go ahead and do it and I'll explain as I go. So I want to fillet this heart here so it has a nice rounded over um, edge here. So I'll hit F for fillet, select both of these segments here and let's go with a one millimeter fillet and then I get this error. The fillet could not be created at the requested size. And usually when I get to this error I'm like okay what do I need to do? Like 0.5 will you take that? No, uh, 0.1 or 0 0.2, 0 0.1, so it's not taking anything. And then you kind of get frustrated. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But here's what you want to do. Um, a lot of times why it's not filling has to do with these sharp corners in this case here, you know, from um, how we created the heart. And, and the way you can address that is just go ahead and fill it that section first. So F for fill it. I'm going to go ahead and reference this edge there, select it, give it a one millimeter fill it. Uh, maybe a little too much. Let's do 0 0.5 click OK and then F for fill it and I'll select this outer perimeter here and you see now that I filleted this it actually selects it in one click instead of having to choose both segments here and now if I do one millimeter fillet it still won't take it but it will take 0 0.9 so you can see it'll even should take like if I do 0 0.99 it'll take anything less than one basically and if this is too wide for you you could even go back I and mean, you can even do smaller than 0 0.1 here when we did that fill it there or what did I do 0.5 um, let's go down to like 0 0.1 you know and it gives you a little sharper um, corner there but it still should be able to maintain that fillet so just a tip there how to address these fillet errors you get uh, one more thing I want to point out here so you notice that I couldn't go past one millimeter fillet so um, here or one and above I could only do 0.99 otherwise it gives me the error why is that? That has to do with the extrusion depth of this. So if I go back to that emboss and I make that two millimeters, um, so now this is much thicker, watch what happens now. If I go back to that fillet and do one, it'll let me do it. Um, in fact, I could do 1.5 and I could do 1.9. But guess what happens when I go to two? It gives me that same error. So I got to bring it back to less than two, which 1.9 uh, works. So Basically, your fillet can't be a number that's higher than your extrusion. That's what it generates that part of that error. So I wanted to throw those two tips here to really help you, you know, with the fillet tool. If you get these errors, um, first address any sharp corners first by filleting them. And then if you're trying to fill it more than what your extrusion is here, um, it's it's not gonna gonna happen. All right. Um, so this was actually something that students brought to my live class and they were having trouble with it. And we just kind of played around with it and just through troubleshooting, we were able to figure out, ah, oh, that, that's how that works. So it's, it's, you know, beautiful when things make sense and they come together and, and you realize why you're getting an error and that there's actually a rhyme and reason to it. So let's go ahead and readjust this back. I'm going to change that emboss back to one millimeter and then change that fillet back to point. Yeah. Point nine nine is fine. We'll go with that. All right, next part here. So what Devin showed is um, this part here actually does make a quite a bit of a difference. If, if you extrude this so that it goes into the cylinder and you cut it out and you also fill it the cylinder um, heart shape, it actually it makes it so that these uh, embossed features and then when we apply the fuzzy skin, it actually gives it nice sort of pop um, and, and just adds another dimension to these designs. So in order to do that, first I have to extrude this so it goes further and into the heart. To do that, I'm going to go to modify. Um, let's grab our press pull tool. Now click on the back surface there. Um, make it extend one millimeter. Click OK. And then let's bring our body in of our cylinder. And we'll just cut that heart out of that cylinder. So we'll go modify, combine. And we're going to do our target body is our cylinder. Tool body is the heart. Operation is cut. And we're going to make sure to keep tools and click OK. 
Okay, now if I deselect the heart, you'll see that there's a cutout right on the cylinder. So because we already have that curve there, we should be able to hit F or fill it and just select that edge in one go. And then let's try a 0.9 millimeter fillet there and it works. So this would have given us the same error if we hadn't done this part, we would have to come in and, and make sure we get that sharp edge taken care of. And the same rule would apply here so that the fillet couldn't exceed uh, the thickness of the cut there. All right, now we have a body and we have the cutout for it. All right, let's go ahead and name these so we know what's what. I'm gonna choose body two, which is the heart. We'll call that heart. Body one, that's going to be our cylinder. And the next step is let's go ahead and pattern these. So let's start with the cutout. Um, now to create the pattern of the cutout, so first we'll go to create do pattern and it will do circular pattern. But because this is not a body, uh, it's actually a feature um, that we can reference from the timeline here that created that cutout. So basically it was the combined cut operation and then this fillet here. So let's go ahead and choose features here and we're gonna reference that combined cut and then this fillet. And then our axis of rotation, select, choose the it could be the top or bottom perimeter yeah we're going to choose five of these here um you want to be careful sometimes if it doesn't work choose a compute a different compute type uh, i'm going to go with optimized i i I'm thinking that that'll give me success actually let's try one that probably won't work let's do adjust click okay and we get an error so let's just repeat it and then i'm going to choose features go ahead and choose the combine operation to fill it axis of app uh, rotation will be the perimeter and let's go ahead and do optimize this time click OK and you can see that works so another tip there if you're doing a circular pattern and you're getting an error try another compute type all right the heart will be easy um, straightforward for that one we can just go to create down to pattern circular pattern and this we're just going to change that feature to bodies we'll select our object here and then our axis of rotation choose our uh, parameter of our cylinder click OK and there we have it we have our cylinder and our five hearts okay and then we can go ahead and do a shell of this cylinder here so modify down to shell uh, let's go with a three millimeter shell off that top surface and then click OK and then we'll do a fill it here on the top so go to modify down to fill it and we're going to change this um, from a regular fillet to a full round fillet go ahead and choose the top click ok and there we have it and you know what let's um let's add a fillet to the inside here uh, we're gonna have to go back to uh, instead of full round back to regular fillet select that edge um uh, five millimeter maybe it's too big maybe like a three millimeter fillet there click ok and then i like this tip that um devin showed here where Instead of just doing a fillet on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and do a chamfer, uh, a two millimeter chamfer, and then apply a fillet to that, maybe like a three millimeter fillet there. And that way you got your 45 degrees here to make sure you're getting you know, a nice um, finish here when, when you come up before you do the fillet. Otherwise, sometimes you can get little rough edges there. All right, let's go ahead and send this to the printer and then I'll show you really quick the slicing approach um, I took. Um, gets you to the same place that Devin got you, but here, instead of exporting it as an STL file and then bring it into Slicer, what you could do is just uh, right click here where on the top of your browser and make sure all your bodies are visible. Choose Save as Mesh and here I'm gonna send it to my Bamboo Studio format as 3MF, click OK. And Fusion will go ahead and open up my Slicer here. It's gonna say this file contains several objects. Go ahead and click Yes when you get that message and we'll get our part here. Click it and choose your filament color. And then go ahead and choose your global settings that you wanna slice this. So I'm gonna go with just a 0.28 millimeter draft. Leave everything else as default. Um, actually, let's change this. I'm gonna send this to my X1 carbon here. Um, all right, so next, what we're gonna do is click objects here and expand here um, your file. And you'll see your names will come through if you brought this as a A3MF. So we have cylinder and then the rest of these are hearts. Now, what we want to do is apply the fuzzy skin just to the heart. So I'm going to choose the first one here. And let me see if I shift select the last one. It goes ahead and selects all of them. And here we're going to go to others, choose fuzzy skin, go to all walls. In the settings that I've been used was 0 0.5 for fuzzy skin point distance and fuzzy skin thickness as one. All right, we are good to go ahead and slice the plate and you'll see it's gonna apply that fuzzy skin to all the 
parts here, uh, which looks good. We'll go ahead and let's see, run that simulation there. And let's see how long is this gonna take. We are looking at one hour, 13 minutes. It will send this to the printer and see what happens. I decided to print this with the Cookie Cat Fairy Floss PLA that I picked up at this year's 3D Printopia event. You can see here how the printer approaches the fuzzy skin parts. Here's how the finished part came out. The combination of this filament and the fuzzy skin gave the hearts a shimmery crystal look, which I really like. I tried another design where I simply made the shell one millimeters instead of three, and you can see it has a more transparent look. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. If you find value in my content and are not a supporter yet, consider becoming one, it helps out a lot. If you have any questions on any of my techniques here, whether in Fusion, Slicer, or 3D printing, I'll leave them below. All right guys, I will see you in the next one.